Try them again. I want to try this. I feel like Bengalis has potential. Maybe not. Maybe not as a top five, top ten pick. But I want to see how they feel. With the current meta, there might be something there. You watch other pros stream at a Torno? Uh, not really, no. I don't really watch much of other streams in general. I'll watch tournaments here and there, right? But like player POV streams or such, I don't really watch much. Again, Woodlands very far. That's my, that might be the potential big down pit or downfall for Bengalis. They're kind of depending on a little bit of a easier to secure map. Why would it go back there? Can you explain why GL love and Dravidian so much? I just don't seem to rate them so much. Why do you think GL loves them so much and not others? I think Dravidians are very good. They have weaknesses though, by, by all means. Particularly the lack of stable units. I don't think there's a case for GL loves Dravidians so much and others don't. I wouldn't say Dravidians go into a territory of love either, on my part anyway. I think there's a solid, they are a solid sieve, but... No. How does Lamy work in current matter? Sure, you aren't pushing deer, but your opponent doesn't have all sheep either. Normally people will find all the sheep before pushing deer though. Uh, like right now we're just playing... Uh, we take a bit of extra risk because we know the other probably don't, isn't going to lame. So if you try to go in lame, the other might have found all his sheep and he's pushing deer. So it's, it's again, it's a full RNG YOLO hoping for the best kind of thing. Um, yeah, that's all I can say. The risk is not necessarily worth the reward. Or like if you weigh them up against each other, the risk is higher than the potential reward. Ooh, not you. GL picked them more than the average player. There's so many things you have to look at though if you're trying to see whether it's picked more than others. Like you have to look at all the bands that are done. There are eight civs banned in the draft as well before picks are made. So I, I yeah, it's really hard to. You would have to put a lot of work to figure out exactly the numbers if you went through all the drafts of every player and compared to jail players and saw if dravidians were banned or picked more or less i would be surprised if it's more in gl than the others Uh, I mean, I don't think Bengals are great, don't get me wrong, but I think they are slept on a little bit. I think they're better than what we might think. They just have to be played a specific way. Uh, King as it starts this week, starts tomorrow actually, like that plays tomorrow, and um, I can stream on paper, yes, but I won't. Shoot. Shoot. 
Oh, it's still open. Oops. Okay, now we got two extra bills for free. Which is obviously quite nice. This is where you normally would do a blacksmith first. But my sheep will run out soon. Range. Need to confirm if he's on gold. Only two on gold. He might be playing skirms. I may have to at the stable here fairly quick. Holding a lot of gold, not anymore. Very bad scouting by me right now. I I'm not in a position where I'm confirming what he's going for. That's bad. Oh, I have more, more gold. That will actually help quite a bit. Okay, we just want to confirm if it's skirms. It's a mix at the moment. Pepper versus heart, yep. His heart has a fairly low seed compared to what you might expect him to have. Due to the fact he has been a bit inactive. Surprised he's not moving out or like trying to poke a little bit because he had some skirms in the mix. There he is. Once I have three scouts, I can clean this up quite easily. Yeah, that was bad. Bad timing. Why are my scouts not fighting? And now we go Castlech. Probably a map that calls for walling, uh, towering the gold, maybe even. Hi. 
Second range. I can't possibly face Germs. Maybe I should play Skarms. But see, you know, I'm, I'm Bengalis, and I feel like I came out of the opening pretty solid here. I think the score is simply that he has scouted. I'll do a second range as well. We'll play like Skarm, crossbow mix. He probably gets more wills though with Malay, but he has to pay for them. I get two of those for free. Considering sneaking in one elephant in the mix. That's the scary part. Shoot! So I think that was good for us. We are actually being aggressive on him. Okay, two more villagers for free. You know what? I think elephant makes sense here. Probably will make skirms, but I do elephants to buy time and then add thesis and then I can do the skirms later. A weird case of elephants actually makes sense. I think monastery and redemption probably Ethnars are sick, they're not bad, are they? Definitely a tricky one though. That was a good target fire by him. Look at the Jordy Micro. Oh, I just tried to queue up knights. I don't think I have those. I heard rumors. Oh, that's 
gold came in a little bit too late, I think. Yeah, we got one. Old situation is admittedly not the best. Definitely was a bit too late on the. If I'm gonna commit on my defense being Bengali monks, I need to have. It needs to come right away or. Yeah. I don't think we're in a bad spot. that monk how did I not get that Okay, switching into long swords, which is where I think Rutha switch can be good. Maybe we can just play elephant archers or maybe make crossbows still. There we go. Don't like that he has. Uh, you know what? Let's let's just go for it. Uh, will that be in time, though? Not with all my bills coming from all the way over there. Yeah, this is a bit ugly potentially. That outpost is actually blocking my my stuff as well. Oh god. Oh, 
It's safe to say this is not working out as I was hoping for. Macro is, I mean, macro. Micro is completely all over the place as well here. Not been nearly good enough. Macro in particular as well. Floating. 1500 wood right now. But when all is said and done, I have 102 villagers at the moment. Yeah, let's try to pick up some more relics. Did not want to see that. That implies there's Imperial Age on the way as well. Uh, did all my monks just die? No, not him. Okay, that's the concern now. I still think there's a ch big chance I have a better army than him. A better eco. That's the word. He has Imperial Edge upgrades now, though. Another castle. Yeah, I can't reliably play Ratha here because I'm likely to lose my castles. But I still think this game has shown that there is potential. You would think it full castledge? I think that would not work. My wood echo is a bit off right now. Yeah, I didn't take the map enough into account here. Mm, I guess we still just commit on the Ratha, see how they play out. Elite is 800-800, we can do that. Main concern we're facing is the lack of gold control we're about to experience. Oh. 
Two relics, that's not enough. He's taking his sweet time right now. Also, I don't have access to my main gold. I think I'm just gonna have to commit here. I probably should wait for Path and Tactics before I try to take any fight. It's very confusing that they, you get don't depending on if you have the sword or the bow activated, they end up on different control groups. I wish I had different like selections. If I double click, if I put half of them on the bow and half of them on the sword, if you double click them, they don't select all of them. I think we commit. Now just go for it. That's a very good fight, but too little too late. They'll take the bonus damage from skirmish stones. They're still very fragile to skirmishers, which is also a bit of a pain. Because you have to get really on top of skirmish to have it really pay off. Yeah, biggest issue here was I didn't play enough around the map. We gave him control over here where all the extra gold and stone is. That's something we definitely had to play around. But I still think there is a potential here. In the Bengalis. But now we don't have upgrades. Enough upgrades, rather, for our light cap to be effective. Also, my production of Ratha has been severely lacking. Maybe I could have gone Arbalest here. Obviously, now I don't have gold, but. Not the traps, can't afford. Jordan played well, yeah he did. I think I needed to see, like, hmm. So I knew, I, I think the early castles went really well for us, but then I depended on the one monastery to defend. I think a market would have saved the game for us. Then I can buy the resources for redemption, and he never gets control over this to begin with. The issue begins, or starts, even when I let him have control over this. He also gets control indirectly of my main stone, my secondary golds. It was just a downhill fight from there. Still feel like Dungal is still pretty good. Ratha are really good, guys. Why didn't you defense defensive seed workshop instead? I felt confident defending with Skirmisher Monk. So... It was it was fine, it was just the timing was off. Cause we did, we have a solid eco lead here. So I just need to take better care of the situation. And then I think we're actually in a very good, very good spot. So we're probably We're probably a solid twenty bills ahead here. We have similar military count as well, so it's just map control. Won the game in the end there. <laughs> 